Hey, and welcome to Mr. Swearlodge channel. There you go, got it all hooked up. So we'll be doing this until later tonight. So we'll be doing this until later tonight. So didn't I just build a brick wall? What the fuck? Oh shit, that's why. I was wondering where the fuck my guys were. Work now. Add a large jail doors to those dividing walls. All right. Doors. Um, we gotta do something. See if my buddy's on. Send him a party invite. So far we got the doors on now. Alright, so now we gotta build the rooms. Alright, there's an execution. Turn around, just drag it. And boom! Here's the cell doors. I mean the cell. Boom! 
Done. Some functional. So requirements. Cell, of course, needs a bed and a toilet. Alright, so we want to go here and we want to place a bed. And then we want to place a toilet right here. And then the electrical chair have to go right here. Alright, let's speed this up a little. Then we got a call from the CEO. So that's all taken care of, but there's still a few improvements we can make. It's up to you though. These aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you are about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. The facility would like look better with a higher quality for floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside you could add some lighting in the pavement and a paved pathway if you think it's needed. Man in question, Edward Romsey, a teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just doing our job, pretty much. Once you are satisfied, the facility is ready, and you can begin the prisoner's transfer to his new cell. Simply place the cursor on the snapshot in the cell and press X to initiate the transfer. Oh, that is all our prisoners. Huh? Alright, so we're gonna do some shit here. Flooring, we're gonna add some fucking wooden floors here. No, what the fuck happened? Where'd I click that? Some wooden floors there. Some wooden floors in the cell. And some wooden floors in the fucking execution chamber. There you go. We got some floors. We got us some floors. No, we watch them build. I have no clue, man, if this is going to even work out. I don't even think they put... Well, I guess they put them in there already, so... Doesn't look like they did, though. Alright, some... Ceramic floor. Metal floor. Oh shit. That would have looked probably pretty cool. Alright, I see something now. Objects. We'll go and we'll put some bookshelves in there, man. An outward facing window. So, therefore. We have the uh, windows placed in, and now let's begin the execution.
Oh my god, there he is. There he is, boys and girls. There he is. Do not don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Wanna know what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around eleven PM. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Ooh, here comes the story. I knew I'd caught you two here. Edward, I... Don't just... Don't. What are you going to do? Kablowie! Oh, both of them dead. <laughs> uh, I, I think the guy deserved it. I don't think the girl deserved it. Clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every volt he's gonna get. You can get fired, motherfucker. Talk like that. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure he... Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such a final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing to co but cooperate with the authorities. This is state is making an example of him. If he committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead of how is this justice? Do you want a guy that is like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Still work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't operational yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it directly to the power station that supplies our prison with its electricity. Oh my god. Alright. We're now viewing the prison in the underground view. In this view, you can see the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables shown in the green. Yay! 